So, so many of us have skin issues. Psoriasis, eczema, rashes, acne, you name it. Majority of people, if you look at them, have a skin issue. Whether it be, I sometimes have like redness around my nose, flaky skin, oily skin, literally spotty skin. At the moment I've got bloody scarry skin, <laughs> literally like most of us have skin issues. And this is because skin is our biggest elementary organ. So if anything that our body can't process, it's gonna push through the skin as toxins. So a lot of the time when we have a buildup of toxins in the body and it can't be eliminated, it's all gonna come through the skin. And I you know, detox and do liver cleanses and enema flushes and this really does help your skin. I mean, I've even had frog poison, which you can see on here. This is an amazing way to go into the skin, into the, in the cells and detoxify the body and get rid of anything that's on a cellular level that's harmful. And this helps with making you feel more clearer, giving you more energy, just giving you that spark back. So I've tried lots of different things with skin and with health. And what I find is that a lot of the time we're working from the outside. You know, we're using steroid creams, we're using lotions and potions, and, and really we need to look from the inside. When we look from the inside, that's how our skin will shine on the outside. So when we look at our gut and how our digestion's working, if we have um, you know, poor nutrition or we, have, we can't assimilate our food into nutrients, how are we gonna digest it and uh, bring, you know, take out all the proteins and the enzymes and then use it to function for you know, our everyday life? You know, if you've ever seen anyone at the supermarket, I, I often like look at people when they're in the supermarket and see what the food they're getting and then look at the way they look. And it sounds, you know, a bit mean actually, but it's such a reflection. If you look at what people are eating, if they're eating crappy kind of canned food, you know, GMO food, not organic, packaged food, it's gonna show in the skin, maybe not when they're younger, but as soon as they get older, you're gonna to start to have, you know, eczema, rashes, any skin issue is normally a, an inflammatory response to the body. When cortisol levels high, when we're stressed, we release cortisol in the body, which is a, you know, a stress hormone. It means we're in like fight or flight. And when we're in fight or flight, our body gets inflamed. And a lot of the time when we're in this kind of inflammation, this is when we're basically suffering from health issues because our body and our nutrients aren't being absorbed properly because all of our energy is going towards, you know, running from a, a tiger or whatever it used to be. But now it's just, you know, running from an evil boss or, um, you know, hiding from people, you know, on Instagram or, you know, anything that causes us stress. And, you know, everyone suffers from stress. I suffer from stress all the time, like running your own business and, you know, building something is really stressful because, you know, you feel like you're going to, if you fail, it's like, oh, you're going to be so embarrassing. So for me, it's like managing that stress through, through meditation, through yoga, through walking my dog, through spending time with beautiful friends and family. That for me is, you know, something that I find is so beneficial to help heal the body and not just from skin issues, from other health related issues. But ways that you can heal the skin from the inside is increase your vitamin D. So sunshine is medicine used in the correct way. A lot of us have vitamin D deficiency and it's so important that we get out in the sun when we can or even to have to take supplements if you know we can't get in the sun you know, every day. Looking at you know, our, obviously our toxicity in the body, ways that we can eliminate toxicity and eliminate our stress levels, reduce our stress levels. Sweating is a really amazing way to release any toxins and purify the body. Going to the gym or even going to a sauna, I find is amazing. Looking at you know the inside approach, so making sure that we're eating you know fermented foods and foods that are good for our gut, gut bacteria. Obviously, you don't have to do crazy stuff like me, like frog medicine, but you can look at other approaches, the detoxes, there's so much stuff online, or you can you know, look at um, juice cleanses, anything you can do that, you know, obviously is a sh more of a short-term fix, 
But if you can manage it and make sure that you're consistent, then over a long period of time, your skin will start to heal. And just loving yourself, I think, and looking in the mirror and telling you, you know, you're like, I look freaking good today. <laughs> Maybe you don't look every, every day, but knowing that inside that someone thinks you're incredibly beautiful and that you should believe it because you are. That for me is the most healing for your skin and for your body, you know, that mind-body connection. So yeah, healing the skin from the inside out, not the outside in.